All right, today we're looking at Galaga, and not just Galaga, but Galaga in uh, QB64 Phoenix Edition. And this is really impressive. Uh, Galaga is a game I used to play when I was uh, just a kid, but uh, it's still fun to play today, and this version is actually very well done. Uh, Rock Coder is the author of this game, or the author of the remake. The original author is, uh, I believe, Namco. Yeah, here we go, published by Namco. Uh, but I believe this is a good rendition. So first thing, let's uh, let's take uh, a second here and run it. Uh, I've already gone ahead and compiled it, so it should run right away. And here we go. And the first thing it does, it does this on my second monitor, is it, uh, it actually centered itself on my primary screen, which is the off-screen monitor. Uh, and this is something I want to look into the code, uh, maybe not in this video, but to find out how that's done, because that's been one of the things I wanted to look up, is how to open up a window and center it, because I, I don't like the full-screen mode of QB64. I don't like the full-screen mode of any of these um, uh, Windows uh, compilers. Uh, basically, Switching to full screen uh, certain times just uh, takes several seconds, and I just don't like the way it looks. So I'd rather have a nice uh, window um, sized properly for the game, whether it's a uh, you know um, landscape or a portrait mode. In this case, portrait mode, um, and have it perfectly centered. So I'm going to dig into the code and learn or steal some of that code to do it with my own programs, but. Uh, let's get started. First of all, just the, uh, looking at the uh, the graphics here, uh, I believe you know the these are ripped. I don't think uh, Rock Quarter decided to sit down in in Microsoft Paint and recreate the uh, the uh, the ship and the enemies. Uh, so it all looks kind of authentic because I think it's ripped. Uh, but let's just play a game just to see. Hopefully you can hear the sound also, I'm not sure if I'm capturing the sound. So I'm using the arrow keys to move around and space bar to fire. And first thing I noticed right away is that uh, the, uh, the fire or the bullets are upside down. Let's see, is that the case for the enemy bullets? Yes, it is. So that might be a slight bug. Um, I know in some of the uh, knockoff um, arcade machines that had Galaga, on some of them the, the bullets would be upside down. Uh, I'm not sure if it wasn't the Namco version. I think it may be possible when it would screw up in later stages. But I believe in the uh, first stages, the bullets were firing properly. Okay, so did not do a good job. Let's play again. I want to see if um, we can get to a challenge stage. Come on. So far, all the sounds and the, the movement and the star field looks proper. I'm gonna try getting captured and see if I get a double shooter. That might not work out. Let's just see if we can get to the uh, challenge stage this way. Oh, I guess not. Okay, let's try it one more time. Okay, we got another player. That's terrible. Okay, let's try one more time. Let's try 
concentrate this time. What happened there? I didn't see any bullets. Okay, maybe I'm going to practice and get better, but uh, let's just look at the code. Um, so one of the first things I, I uh, after playing it, I thought maybe the, the code would be really, really all, all over the place. But it turns out this is one of the best looking code I've ever seen. Everything is nicely named, uh, structured, comments. And it's about 3,500 uh, lines, and so there's a lot you can learn from here. Everything's in a nice structure here. A lot of proper indenting with the loops and case commands. So it's really uh, some really nice looking code. I don't think I could, you know, write code like this if, even if I tried. <laughs> um, so we can see like the uh, the graphics are loaded from a sprite sheet here. And it's just using the uh, put image command. So I thought it might be using something different, but uh, it just looks like it's standard QB64 commands. I'm just trying to see quickly if there's anything um, interesting we can look at. So far, just from looking at this, if you wanted to create a simple shooter, you could basically take this, add your own graphics, and you'd have your own uh, shooter. Uh, Now, I think I'll look at code uh, more closely uh, off the video, but um, just looking right here, um, yeah, it's uh, it's very well laid out. Um, you can learn a lot from just uh, studying the code. Yeah, I'm looking for the part where he centers the window. I can't seem to find that.
Okay, let's just try one more time playing this. I want to get to the uh, challenge stage at least. Let me just see if I can concentrate. Okay, forget it. I quit. 